Good morning traders, Bill Dixon here at MF Global on Wednesday, October 19th with some morning comments for the sauce markets. Cocoa is recovering kind of nicely here today. Uh, we saw a pretty strong close of the stock market yesterday and I think that's what's going ahead and giving it the lift. Euro rallied nicely on some rumors too, but that's starting to back off a little bit. Uh, we are a decent amount off the highs. Again, this market's only going to go as high as other markets will take it. Uh, fundamental picture has not changed in months. Um, supply is very, very strong. Uh, so I, should, I expect we do see some more downsides. So any rallies you get, I think, are providing pretty good selling opportunities. Um, we do have a little bit of a stronger British today, a weaker dollar, as we've seen over the last couple of days. But again, dollar is starting to recover a little bit today. Euro selling off. British is selling off off its highs a little bit as well. So um, again, any, any rallies I would welcome as good selling opportunities. Coffee, uh, strong recovery today as well. However, we did get into that 235 to uh, 240 range and backed off our highs. I believe we made a high at about 239 and a quarter, and we're about uh, four bucks off that level right now. So again, the closer we get to 240, the more I like to sell it. Um, we did have some rumors about tight stock, or not rumors, but there are uh, reports of tight stocks in Vietnam for the time being. However, uh, Brazilian weather continues to improve. So I think uh, from the world supply outlook, it looks like we should be having plenty come into the market here shortly. Um, it doesn't appear that there's gonna be any great concerns about, uh, about short supplies there. Um, I do also like the downside. The chart does look a little bit better on the daily than it does uh, on the cocoa market. We didn't come at really anywhere near making a new low for the move. So it is a little bit more supportive than the cocoa market. But then again, the supply demand uh, uh, situation is a little bit uh, a little bit worse off than the cocoa um, sugar uh, struggling to hold that 28 level again we're a little bit overbought we kind of got uh, a little um, we got a huge rally on the floods in Thailand however there are some uh, some reports that maybe the damage um, to the crop is not going to be so bad as they had initially expected aside from that we are facing a world surplus the uh, the world economy um, outlook is looking pretty dim so again, I would favor the downside there as well. We were a little bit overbought. I think it provides a pretty good opportunity to go ahead and buy some puts. Um, selling futures, obviously the market's very volatile, so it can be risky. Uh, but I do think that we should see some resistance slightly above that 28 level as we have over the past few sessions. And I'd be pretty surprised if it breaks it unless we do get some, uh, some concrete news out of Thailand that the, uh, the flood damage is worse than they had, or as bad as they had originally anticipated. So, if I like to talk about these markets and any other markets for this for that matter, please uh, feel free to reach me at my trade desk, which is 312-548-2942. And please do remember that futures trading does involve the risk of substantial loss. It is not suitable for all investors. Thanks and have a great day.